Good evening, I'm Mika Miyashima. And I'm Tom George in for Rick Kwan tonight. An attempted murder case involving the brutal beating of a woman in 2020 has now been dismissed because of a ruling by the Hawaii Supreme Court. This ruling by the state's highest court is turning many criminal felony cases upside down. KI TV Forest Kristen Concilio joins us live tonight with our top story. Kristen. That's right, Mika. The recent Supreme Court decision banning the state from taking serious, serious felony cases to trial without a grand jury indictment is causing some chaos in the criminal justice system. Jury selection was already underway yesterday for the attempted murder case against Larry Shanks Jr., charged with beating and burning Ramona Castro in a Kapolei bunker in 2020. When all of a sudden the Supreme Court struck down a separate case against Richard Obrero, who killed a 16-year-old in 2019, claiming self-defense following a burglary of his Kalihi home. It effectively interferes with the uh, commencement of criminal proceedings for arrest and charge situations in serious cases, you know, including and, you know, not limited to murder, kidnapping, robbery, uh, domestic violence, drug trafficking, sexual assault. You know, as a result, offenders, they may be released until prosecutors are able to proceed. Obrero was charged by what's known as a complaint and preliminary hearing, but the Supreme Court's now saying that was unlawful setting a precedent for all other criminal complaints. It remains that you know, defense counsel statewide have already started to use Obrero decision to attack criminal charges and argue that cases should be dismissed based upon technicality and oversight that occurred 40 years ago and not trying to dismiss cases based on the merits or facts of the case. And as a result, you know, serious offenders may be released further jeopardizing public safety. Prosecutors say the state constitution was amended in the 1980s, allowing them to charge felony offenders through complaints and preliminary hearings. They say there are not enough grand jury meetings, which is delaying the charging of dangerous criminals. But defense attorneys disagree. So I mean, it isn't like they're going to get released from prison and walk out. Mr. Alm or any other um, county prosecutor claims that we're opening up the floodgates to the prisons. That's ludicrous. They say prosecutors are at an advantage in grand jury hearings because there's no defense attorneys in the meetings, which are held in secret. The prosecutor could indict a ham sandwich in a grand jury. So I'm kind of astounded that they're crying in their, into their, their uh, coffee about this, that, gee, now we're going to have to do this and the public's at, at risk. The public is not at risk at all. Prosecutors are pledging to lobby the legislature to come up with a new law in light of the Supreme Court decision. Senator Carl Rhodes told KITV4 lawmakers will seriously consider the issue, but... If you can't even get a grand jury to indict somebody, how are you going to get a, a regular jury to convict them? In the Shank attempted murder case that was set to go to trial yesterday, the Honolulu prosecutor did secure a grand jury indictment this morning and hopes to resume that trial soon. Now, the judiciary confirmed to KITV4 that each circuit will be increasing the number of grand jury hearings as a result of the Supreme Court ruling. Reporting live, Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.